Okay, Assalamualaikum So hari ni uh, Miss nak add on sedikit okay, Berkaitan dengan factors affecting strength of intermolecular forces So what is intermolecular forces? So basically intermolecular forces is attraction between molecule Daya tarikan antara molecule For example uh, HCl with another HCl molecule. So, between these two molecules, there are interaction. So, this interaction we call intermolecular forces. Daya tarikan antara molecule. So, basically, we have three uh, different types of intermolecular forces. So, we have London, we have dipole-dipole, and also hydrogen bonding. London dispersion and dipole-dipole these two tergolong dalam kategori van der Waals forces ok, so basically van der Waals forces ada dua jenis London dispersion force and also dipole-dipole so the differences between London dispersion and dipole-dipole is London dispersion force adalah untuk non-polar molecule Whereas for dipole-dipole, dipole-dipole is the attractive forces between polar, polar molecule. Okay, so between a uh, London, di London and dipole-dipole, dipole-dipole uh, is more or uh, is stronger than London dispersion force. Kenapa dipole-dipole lagi kuat? Due to the presence of permanent dipole. Okay. So, permanent dipole tu apa pula? Okay, kita tengok contoh HCl. Lah. So, HCl. We know that two atoms brings two different electronegativity. So, in this case... Uh, chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen. So, the differences in electronegativity ni, kita panggil dia dipole. Okay, kekutuban. Okay, kekutuban. Macam kita ada magnet kan? Magnet ada kutub utara, kutub selatan. So, molecule pun sama. Molecule pun ada dia punya kutub. And this one, this kutub, kutub positif dengan kutub negatif ni, dia permanent. Maksudnya, chlorine tidak akan bertukar jadi delta plus ataupun delta minus ni hilang tidak sifat itu tidak akan hilang so itu maksud permanent dipole okey the third and last one okey is hydrogen bonding But hydrogen bonding is the strongest intermolecular forces between uh, yang uh, sorry antara yang lain so hydrogen bonding exists in polar molecule Untuk lagi spesifik, okay, hydrogen bonding wujud apabila hydrogen of a molecule attracted to electronegative atom such as F or O or N of another molecule. Okay, nak senang ingat hand phone. Okay, so we know that hydrogen is electropositive. These three atoms is electronegative. So this um, uh, positive negative, you learn already, dia akan uh, tertarik antara satu sama lain. And this attraction is what we call hydrogen bonding. Sebab ini adalah attraction between hydrogen and electronegative atom. And uh, I have discussed with you uh, before, uh, molecule that capable to perform hydrogen bonding include water, hydrogen fluoride, and also ammonia.
Okay, so as you can see here, there's a font over here. F O N. So can HCl form hydrogen bonding? Can. So I repeat my question. Can HCl form hydrogen bond? The answer is cannot lah. Okay, because the chlorine is not included in our uh, font atom. Okay, so uh, to repeat this one, we have three different elect uh, sorry intermolecular forces. We have London dipole dipole and hydrogen bonding. So London and dipole dipole adalah sejenis van der Waals forces. And okay for hydrogen bonding, hydrogen bonding ni wujud dalam di uh, pola molekul. Untuk lebih spesifik, molekul tu mesti ada hidrogen yang tertarik kepada atom F atau O atau N of another molecule. So, kita tengok contoh. So, basically, I have three frequently asked questions. So, let's have a look at situation A. Okay, situation A. We have two compound. We have CCl4. Then this one we have C F C L three. Okay, so basically, apa kaitan intermolecular forces ni dengan boiling point? Okay, so sorry, that's my error. Okay, you can never harm pola molecule. Okay, has greater boiling point than non-polar molecule. So, ini sangat-sangat penting. Kenapa awak perlu tahu molekul tu pola ataupun tidak? Sebab uh, keketuban sesuatu molekul okay, berkait rapat dengan dia punya takat didik. So, non, sorry, pola molekul has greater boiling point than non pola molekul. So, let's have a look. In this case, okay, you tengok. You dah belajar sebelum ni kan? Miss dah ajar. If, the, if all surrounding atoms dia sama, Okay, according to Nasuha's uh, second law or third law, I can't remember. If the surrounding atoms all the same, so basically the molecule is non-polar. So, what tengok? The second molecule, you have three uh, same surrounding atom. Tiba-tiba F ni ada satu kat sini. So, basically, CFCl3 is non, sorry, is a polar molecule so so in the, that by now awak dah tahu ini pola ini non pola kan so awak sepatutnya dah tahu sekarang this one should has greater boiling point so in this case CFCl3 has greater boiling point than CCl4 Okay, so kenapa? Because, bagi tahulah, CFCl3 is polar. Polar molecule, while CCl4 is non-polar molecule. Okay, wonderful forces in polar molecule is greater than in non-polar molecule. Ataupun, untuk lebih spesifik, dipole-dipole, okay, dipole-dipole forces is stronger than London dispersion force. Therefore, more energy needed for you to overcome the attractive forces. Sebab itulah, daya, daya pula takat didih Untuk pola molekul tu tinggi. So, I repeat this one. 
pola molekul ni boiling point dia tinggi sebab awak dah belajar pola molekul ni jenis intermolecular forces dia adalah dipole 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 so awak dah kita dah tengok tadi dipole dipole is stronger attractive forces okey uh, compare to lan London. So, kalau lah dia punya daya tarikan kuat antara molekul tu, sukar untuk awak nak pisahkan. Okey. Contoh, nak pisahkan molekul. Contoh, ini CF4. Sorry. Ini C CF CL3. So, let's say you have CF CL3. So, antara molekul ni, kita ada daya tarikan. So, daya tarikan ni kita panggil dia intermolecular forces. Disebabkan molekul ni polar, so jenis intermolecular forces adalah dipole, dipole, dipole. So, uh, boiling point adalah tenaga yang awak perlukan ni. Untuk putuskan rantaian intermolecular forces. So, maksudnya kat sini, kalau attraction dia kuat, sukar untuk awak uh, nak putuskan IMF. That is why more energy needed to overcome the attractive forces. Awak perlukan tenaga yang banyak untuk break this attraction. Okay, that is situation A. So, let's have a look at situation B. So, we have water and HCN molecule. So, both are polar but kalau kita compare nampak je air kan. So, even though these two molecule are polar but water has greater boiling point than HCN. Kenapa? We have discussed also awal-awal tadi. Water can form hydrogen bond. So basically here, water can form hydrogen bond. But HCN, HCN can form Dipole, dipole. Okay, and kita tahu hydrogen bonding is stronger intermolecular forces than dipole, dipole. That is why more energy needed to overcome the attractive for forces. So, so awak kena check bila awak dapat molecule tu, eh dua-dua polar. So, tanya diri sendiri, dia boleh tak buat hydrogen bonding? So, kalau boleh, Uh, maksudnya, uh, dia punya boiling point lebih tinggi. So, the last situation, kita tengok situation C. Uh, we have ammonia and also water. So, in this case, both are polar. Okay, both are polar. So, again, macam mana kita nak tahu dia polar atau tidak? So, awak tengok dekat central atom. Ni, ni, ada mata ni. Lone pair kan? Okay. So, normally, compound or molecule that has lone pair in at the central atom, so basic, um, usually they are polar molecule. Uh, not all, but usually they are polar molecule. So, untuk case ini, both are polar molecule. And if we look here, both ammonia and water can form hydrogen bonding. But, But, water has greater boiling point than ammonia. Rasa-rasanya kenapa? Ha. Okay, now. Tadi Miss cakap, kalau dia boleh buat hydrogen bonding, boiling point dia lagi tinggi. Ha. Betul? Situasi C ni, kita ambil balik situasi tu. Dua-dua ni boleh buat hydrogen bond. Tetapi, kalau kita compare, refer balik pada nota mis yang uh, intermolecular forces. Ha? Water molecule 
one water molecule can form can form four hydrogen bonding while ammonia can form one hydrogen bonding okay this one okay refer pada notes miss yang sebelum ni ya so walaupun dua-dua boleh buat hydrogen bonding but water specialnya water ni water can form can form four hydrogen bonding but ammonia can only form one hydrogen bonding okay so yang ni Sorry ya, ada typo sikit ni. Minta padam this one eh. Okay, so kita tambah ayat sikit. Kita tambah ayat kat sini ya. So... Bagi besar sikit eh. The greater the number of hydrogen bonds the stronger the intermolecular forces. Thus, more energy needed to overcome the attractive forces. So, basically that's the uh, that is the explanation for situation C. Satu reminder, uh, reminder untuk awak, bila awak nak jawab on soalan explanation, tolong jangan guna singkatan IMF. Okay, IMF tu untuk miss je. Okay, so awak kena adjust satu-satu lah. Intermolecular forces. Okay, so I think that's all for now. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum.